just the side question uh, because I think I, I did see a video of you uh, in Malaysia. I think that like you were trying out some food or something. And, uh, <laughs> Malaysia Fridays. <laughs> yeah, that was good. But um, because with Malaysia, I feel like anybody who's met Malaysian people, right? And for us living in the UK, for me, it was like um, when I was at university, you meet Muslims, Indonesian, Malaysians, and everyone comes away with a good impression because they're very like, in general, obviously exceptions everywhere. In general, they're very like smiley, bubbly, like friendly, like, mm. Asalaamu Alaikum, you know how you were saying earlier that like, you get to a place and you're like, Asla-. they're the Malaysians yeah. essentially, right? And they bring a smile to your face. So uh, what, what's your experience in terms of not just the people, but in terms of Malaysia as a potential destination? What are your, what's your takeaways? Nothing but positivity, man. Mm. It's like, it's, I can't even get the words out, bro. It's like, there's, like I'm, I'm thinking about, okay, how many negative things did happen to us out there? And I have to say, none. Like the, infra, isn't it, bro? Like the infrastructure is on point. Like the, the, the healthcare is on point. The, my, do, my daughter went there, went to play school for that on point. The, the, the people have this customer service type of attitude. It's mm-hmm. on point. The streets are clean. It's on point. There, it's like, I'm, like I don't want to hype up Malaysia like it is the place, it's, per, it's the nearest to perfection that you're going to get. You've but not been appointed the ambassador or something, have you? Yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to sell it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, it, it, and I think. In um, Omar and myself's experience there, when we compared it to where we were before, and then we felt oh, like, okay, like going down to the immigration and sorting out your visa. When you compare Malaysia to where we've just come from, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It's like, why can't they just do it like this? It's so much easier. You know what I mean? It's it's un, it's un, even the police out there, bro. I got stopped out there. Me and my wife, Af- two Africans in the car, up at the ro- talking outside the car. A couple of police officers came over, heard our her after see our passports. I I went to get my passport, and he went, you know what, sir, it's okay. Got in the car and left. <laughs> He's like, ah. Oh. Do you know what I'm saying? So then here's like, the oh, question: we're gonna, We've got a tug in in Malaysia. What we're gonna do now? Nah. I went to go in my pocket to get my passport and he went, you know what, so it's fine. Left. So, but, but, listen. Here's the here's the question then. Why why what happened then? How come you're not in Malaysia or if you are, why did you not decide to stay? Is it the citizenship? Bro, thing? That 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 was that was between that's called the Allah, bro. Like if if, if 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 we had that choice, if we had that choice, and I I, I can't speak for Omar, but I'm sure I've got this right. If we had that choice. I think we'll be in Malaysia right now. The choice of being able to stay in Malaysia was 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 unkindly taken away from us. But Kadir Allah Masha for like, you know what I'm saying, bro? If but COVID, COVID killed it. Yeah, COVID killed it, bro. That's a good one. <laughs> COVID killed it because the COVID policy started it, to change. Yeah, the yeah, policy bro. started to change. We <clears throat> we ran into some some issues with the visa, and you couldn't fix it. Couldn't fix it. Couldn't fix it because of COVID. But Shay, yeah. even COVID, yeah, everything shut down, right? So, like immigration, for example, we had to go online and uh, book an appointment block. Yeah. Now, usually, you go into a building, you make an appointment, you go into a building, you've got people, you st- you queue, you stand up, you go and see people, you get your thing done, and you go home. So now we're thinking, okay, now the country's on lockdown, we're gonna have to be standing at the queues and appointments being missed. <coughs> Bro, within 24 hours, yeah, they had an online system that was on and popping for immigration. There was a there was a ripple in the organization, but it was done, it was sorted like that. Like mm. that, bro. Well, I, mean, well. like, I so. highly, 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 highly recommend Malaysia. People might have some ideas about their funky beliefs and all that, which in truth, they run on funky beliefs, but just have they just have a different way of doing things, bro. Do you know what I mean? It's like, for example, after Isha, they all they all recite with the Imam Surah al That's what they do. But there's a hadith that says, you know, those who read Surah al after 
after Isha, you know, it protects you from the punishment of the grave. They choose to do it together. All right, so what's the big deal, yo? Like, little silly things like that. We don't have time for that. Mm. You know what I mean? But mm. other than that, bro, listen, man, Malaysia, to me, will always be in my heart, man. Egypt and Malaysia are the two places I compare everywhere to those two places. Jazakallah mm. khair. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.